I get it. Huh. No survivors. That's right. I'm still going on that bit. Good. What about you? Truly no survivors. It's a pretty long way. This is it. Feeling good? Check it out. Ugh. in the view. Laying down on my back at the end of a 150 year old or more I guess like a runoff pipe looking straight up to the sky as the fog envelops the top of the citadel. Yeah, I got six new pulleys. Three of them ranged in a triangle formation connected to a singular point in the middle which has another pulley on it so I can I can gobble and walk if I want anywhere I want to it's completely silent I don't feel any tug as you learn in physics class or uh, applied sciences the more pulleys you add to a system the less force is required to, to lift or something it eases the strain. Whatever. You know what I'm talking about. One thing I also know is there's a there's a head crab. Maybe I already passed it. There's a head crab somewhere around here that I know I'm about to get oh. get jump scared. Even 20 years later I remember. Oh there he is! I thought he fell on you, but he's hiding in this little alcove with a boot. Oh, and a can of beans. Where'd the beat? Where'd the boot go? I'm gonna throw a spanner in the works. I'm gonna throw this underneath one of these giant articulated columns. See if I can't screw up the Combine's plans. <laughs> yeah, this is another one of those, like, Death Star. <laughs> it's a Death Star plan, where there's a... Uh, for some reason, they construct this giant... Whoa giant structure as their forward base, base of operations. They do all their all their work through it. And anybody who wants to climb down a, you know, 150 foot deep pit, they just can. They can just gain access. Whatever. No problem. Not a huge oversight. Although I guess they are aliens. So they might not. I don't know. Humans are pretty... They're riddled with ingenuity. They should, you would think aliens, hyper advanced aliens, would be able to figure out that people would be curious enough to uh, to muck about in this giant alien structure. Which, by the way, just getting into VR and seeing this colossal scale, how tall that is, and how alien all the structures look. Just weird, nonsensical angles. It reminds me of the buildings in Blade Runner, where there's just long, you know, hundreds of foot long trapezoidal hall with just like a, a little, uh, you know, slit for a window running horizontally. Maybe that was Blade, I think that was Blade Runner, yeah. But it's like, why are these corridors so long? You know, people, people walk slow. Are they designed for golf carts? But this, at least, is an excuse. You know, Blade Runner is still people and androids, but this is, like, clearly designed for the proportions of an alien. Without spoiling anything, there are aliens in this game. 
Because the Combine aren't alien, they're like modified human, human hybrids with kind of like technology, but they're still, you know, humans that kind of, I guess, sold their soul to take a seat at the table, which obviously they're never going to get in this dystopian world. I want to get zapped. Zap. Let me in. Let me in. back there. Look at this guy not doing his job. He's not even looking the right way. So long, life. Hello, heaven. not doing his job flying through objects yeah you really I know it's so it's such a trope and I've said it so many times but you don't get this kind of scale when you're just playing it on a monitor I mean this place is huge it's like Grand Canyon levels of huge it's like hundreds of feet deep This is the part that's underground. I feel like this would be... If they were to ever make, like, a Half-Life movie, this would probably be the most memorable set. This is like, it's so late 90s, early 2000s Matrix vibe. And I think Half-Life 2 would make a better movie than Half-Life 1. Half-Life 1 is a great game, but in terms of, you know, diverse location, it's, it's kind of samey, honestly. I mean, given the technology you had what you had, wow. This is a trip. Damn. But I think Half-Life 2's story is more... I think you can, you can make a story, like a movie plot, a lot easier out of it. Because it's kind of centralized on a common kind of a, you know, alien takeover scenario. In Half-Life 1, you know that's happening, but there's no real... I mean, there's Zen, but it's kind of, you know, that's like a red herring. That's not really what's going on. It's like, that's not what's really being foisted upon Earth. This is what's happening. This is what's being forced upon her. Like cattle cars filled with stalkers building gunships. Because you think they didn't have construction on the Citadel started? Like minutes after Half-Life 1? What was it? Once you put the crystal in the reactor, unforeseen consequences, you think the, the Citadel wasn't beginning construction like immediately after? Oh! Oh, I don't have any grenades! Get as much out as possible! No! I'll come up with a grenade right there. I didn't have any before. We Gary's mod now. What happened? What happened? 
Yeah, turns out we crashed. Tried to pick up the Gary's mod gun. And it just crashed. And thus, the future was made. So, this is Dr. Freeman. At last. That's me. I wish I could say this was a pleasant surprise, but it's neither a surprise nor, as you will surely agree, very pleasant. Green well, in stereo. I am nothing if not pragmatic. I should say. Green in stereo. Psych. Probably would have killed me. Yeah, this is when the God Complex sets in. So powerful. I always thought this blood... I mean, I guess it looks okay when it's on a transparent surface like that, but I always thought it was a little bit too dark. But I guess maybe they're going with... Like, the darker spots are, like, meant to be viscera. And body chunklets. But that was, a uh, one of my... Memorable pastime. Whoa, what's going on over there? <laughs> Graphical bug? A leak? Yeah, one of my favorite pastimes in the early Half Life 2 days. Of course, nowadays you can't really modify game texture files and all that because. Well, Dr. Freeman, under other circumstances, I like to think we might have been able to work together in an atmosphere of mutual trust and respect. Oh, sure. Certainly, judging from your brief tenure at Black Mesa while I was its administrator, you showed every promise of becoming a valuable and productive contributor to the scientific process. Magenius. And yet, I'm not sure what spurred you to it. But there is really no place in this enterprise for a rogue physicist. But I'm genius. Yeah, going on FPS banana and getting custom textures. Like the there was a huge variety of realistic wait. Where is it? Re real realistic. Yep. Uh, I can do this. Reali realistic blood textures. And I would uh, swap them out every few days, change the color of the combine, you know, add different textures, data beat source, putting gloves on my hands, custom fonged textures. Back when like lighting was a big issue. a big thing, like Valve came out with Lost Coast with all the new lighting effects. What the hell? Where did he come from? Oh, he's like jelly. Like jelly. But you don't like jelly. Where? Idiot. I'm gonna watch you bug out on the, on the elevator. Yeah. Dumb, like, security feature. Why wouldn't it be encased in some kind of glass or metal? Is that... Would that not be smart? Why am I getting these tooltips all of a sudden? Like, 15 hours later? 15 hours into the game, I'm still... Oh! Is it because it's, uh... It's like a charger bag. It's a, 
charger that charges health and... Health and armor in the same go. to blame, of course, my disappointment in Eli Vance and Isaac Kleiner is far greater than my sorrow over your unfortunate choice of career path. In a way, I suppose you could not have done otherwise. Who knows what seeds of iconoclasm they planted when you were young and gullible, but while they certainly share a great part of the responsibility for the recent troubles, it is you alone who have chosen to act with such willful disregard for humanity's future. Is that me? That's me? I thought I had to confuse with you. I'm sorry. You're right, let me change my behavior. I want to kill somebody with this. In honor of Dr. Wallace Breed. Ah, exactly. Alright, I need to start the elevator. Oh yeah! I did promise. Where to go? Did it fall? I do it. I said I'd kill. Going go. Wow. Oh. Don't they know? I'm Gordon Freeman. You can't kill me. I'm invincible. I can just lay on this. Let me lay on my back. Get some good use out of this pulley system. Ah. You're weak. Ah. Oh. Uh -huh. 
Tell made. Tell me, Doctor Freeman, if you can. You have destroyed, destroyed so, much. so much. What is it exactly that you have created? Can you name even one thing? One thing. thing. No, I thought not. I thought not. Well, I mean, where yeah, we credit? I get partial credit for this. Like I, I crawled into the Citadel, right? Eli, Alex, and Kleiner. We can, we can all share credit on the the Gary's mod gun, right? Oh! Rookie mistake. More jelly. Oh! Eat jelly with your friends. You're weak. Got green, and by extension, the combine. Oh wow! I really wish I've seen screenshots of the I beta the branch. Humanity survival, and not as we have narrowly defined ourselves, but as something greater than we could ever imagine. Something we can now only begin to glimpse. Oh, swish! Arc shot. Oh, and it goes in! Yeah, I've seen screenshots of the beta branch of this, and I think they implemented episode 2 lighting, so you get kind of the volumetric, I guess, god rays. But, so this would probably look amazing. The, the train station at the start of the game looks phenomenal in the screenshots. And another swish. Nice. That's uh, six points for those who's counting. Oh. Never suspect me back here. Over here. <laughs> it's like curling. They do have it in them. I gotta kill this guy with the balls. Is he leaving? No. Oh, I almost hit him. Oh! Hard to hit this guy without a crosshair. That a hit? That's a hit. That's a hit. Oh yeah! Nice. <gasps> See you later. I want to. I want to spin. The other one. Damn it. Maybe I have to. There we go. The speed at which they spin. Oh! That would have killed me. Oh, 
Oh yeah, that would kill me. So flipping, flipping these three around, I would make that an achievement. Off the beaten path. How many people would do that? Make them interesting, boys. Oh, the scale. Where's its cock? There it is. Look, eat it. Girl. Look at what you are throwing away. What you're is throwing it away. Worth it. And he did eat it. Whoa. I thought it was about to go out of the... Oh no! Yes. I want to kill a guy with this. No! Oh. Rip strider cock. Gone but not forgotten. Yeah, I uh, I forgot how long these these pod segments are. I mean, that other one was like an entire chapter in in a pod, basically. Yes, I'm in. Oh, this is where we we see the Strider, the synths. That you only see one part. Hello, friend. I know they're just corridors and beyond these walls. Don't shoot. It had a gun on it, too, but it just blow my brains out. But beyond these walls, there's just nothing. You know, void. There's not more map there, but the, the illusion is so good that I totally believe that I'm inside of a monumental, you know, thousands of mi- uh, not miles, but thousands of feet wide by thousands of feet wide structure that rises, you know, two miles into the sky. I mean, look at the size. It's like the dwarven caverns from Lord of the Rings. There they are, synth. The only place to see them. And then that's some uh, you know, unknown city in Bulgaria. What is it, Sofia? Is that a Bulgarian city? Or some other Eastern European nation? I don't. I don't remember. But I think they speculate that it's Bulgaria. Or at least Alex is in Bulgaria. And Alex is also near the Citadel, so... Yeah, it hasn't aged very well, but... You know. Take it or leave it. I guess if somebody remade this, they could use, like, a... A screenshot from Google Earth. Like, with the, uh... Elevation maps of all the buildings. Just pick a city at random and import the models. No! That's the only thing I had to protect myself. And carry Stridercock with. He must be an elite guard. I'll take him from here. Nice bracelet, is that Don't gold? Don't struggle, it's no use. $1,700 an ounce. Until you're where he wants you, there's nothing you can do. I'm sorry, Gordon. I can get out of here. What? You think me with my Kiwi pulley system can't get out of the, the trap set for me? Come on. Amateur. Inhabited by vast meteorological intelligence. See the G-Man do this. Stretched thin across the membranes where the dimensions intersect. Impossible to describe with our limited vocabulary. What I've seen is also Watch. beyond words, Breen. Oh no. Genocide. Indescribable evil. Good God. Well, if it isn't Gordon Freeman at last. 
<laughs> What's this? I'll put it over there. You... Fool. ...have my gratitude, Doctor. First you lead me straight to the doorstep of my oldest friend. Who are you talking to? Then you to? deliver yourself. Who's this guy talking if to? If I'd known you were going to come straight up to my office, I wouldn't have bothered hunting you in the first place. Having both of you in my keeping ensures I can dictate the terms of any bargain I care to make with a combine. <laughs> Dr. Breen. That laugh. Wallace. Uh -huh. Yes, Judith, what is it? The bargain we should be making is for Eli's life so he can continue his research. Thanks to you, we have everything we need in that regard. My child. You're more than qualified to finish his research yourself. Help me. What neither you nor I can do is convince that rabble in the streets to give up their senseless struggle. Yet Eli refuses to speak the words that would save them all. Save them? For what? Eli, if you won't do the right thing for the good of all people, maybe you'll do it for one of them. Is she breathing there? Alex, I need- Dad. Gordon? I'm Alex oh, now. Damn you, Breen, you let her go. That's all up to you, my old friend. Will you let your stubborn short-sightedness doom the entire species, or will you give your child the chance her mother never had? <laughs> Don't look at me How like that. How dare you even mention her? Alex, my dear, you have your mother's eyes, but your father's stubborn nature. You haven't seen a bit of it yet. Really? Well, let's see how well it serves you on the far side of a combine portal. Go ahead, Bree. <laughs> if that's the worst you can do, send us both oh, through your I wanted to be port. Eli, but I walked into the wall. Oh, it's hardly the worst. But you might find that hard to believe once you get there. It isn't necessary. I agree. It's a total waste. Fortunately, the Resistance has here. shown it is willing Whoa. to accept a new leader. And this one has proven to be a fine pawn for those who control him. No, I'm green now. don't listen to him, Gordon. How about it, Dr. Freeman? Did you realize I'm your green. contract was open to the highest bidder? Gordon would never make any kind of deal I'm green with you. now. I understand if you don't wish to discuss this in front of your friends, I'll send them on their way and then we can talk openly. Don't struggle, honey. Dad, I'm so sorry. Alex. Traitor! Get her! Traitor! Judith? What do you think you're doing? We're doing what I could never do alone. We're stopping you. Yes. Wait until the last guard possible Get in moment. Here. They know you betrayed them. They'll turn on you. Judith, Dr. Mossman, please. I'm sorry, Wallace. You're all out of time. Kill him. Don't. Got the gravity gun, you Hurry! fool. Dad, hang on. You fool! Watch out, he's gonna- No! Just a weak old man trying to carry something the weight of like a, a gallon of milk. Well, it's probably heavier than that, right? Dad! Oh, no, no, no. Don't worry about me, honey. He's There's no gone. time, Alex. He's on his way to the portal. You'll need this. Dr. Mossman, Judith, look after my father. Don't you worry. Dad, I'm not saying goodbye. Never. Come on, Gordon. Oh, Let's go. Oh, my girl. Where's my gun? Whoa! We haven't known each other very long, but... I know you didn't have to do this. Yeah, now who's taller? I had to rescue my father, but you... Well... Thanks for coming after me. Hey, listen. That's him. He's actually rather relieving to now know that I'm, you know, I'm be like a fraction of an inch taller than Alex. There he is. I think it must depend on where the headset is when you actually launch the game. Same with the menu. I noticed when I launched it after the crash, the menu was in the right spot because my headset was almost high level. Gun! Damn it! Not again! Could have got him right the gravity there. Gun. <laughs> he doesn't have a clue, does he? The gravity gun. I wonder where he's going. That's a good question. I thought it would go to 200. This is the Citadel's dark fusion reactor. 
misremember It powers that. their tunneling entanglement device. We'll never have a chance like this again. We've got to stop Dr. Breen. Can do. God, we're at the top and it even goes further. I can't by probably shut a couple down. hundred feet. Wow. Looks like he's turned over control to the other side. It's like we're almost You'll have Jesus. to go into the core and do what you can. Thousands of feet up. Get in the Amazing. elevator and I'll let you in. Don't forget to charge up your suit. What is this blood on the machine here? Whose blood is this? You looking at my ass? Get in the there elevator. I really thought that your suit would go to 200. I don't know why it's not going to 200. Do your worst, Gordon. Well, now I'm shorter, but it's because I'm going to step down. Be careful. Ah. All that time spent going up, now we're going down. Dr. Freeman, you really shouldn't be out there. At the moment of synapse, as I teleport, this chamber will be bathed in deadly particles that have yet to be named by human science. Perhaps when I have the leisure to do the work myself, I'll name one of them after you. That way you won't be completely forgotten. When the singularity collapses, I will be far away from you. In another universe, as a matter of fact. You, on the other hand, will be destroyed in every way it is possible to be destroyed, and even in some which are essentially impossible. Total, molecular, reversal. Is that what you're referring to, Breen? Yeah, we've all seen Ghostbusters. Nerd. <laughs> I don't know what you can possibly Where? want to achieve, apart from your own annihilation.
I'm a genius. Step back. Don't know what you will unleash. You can bring down this whole citadel. Think, man. Think of the people below. Fuck them, honestly. Born to die. No! You idiot. You need me. Should have taken the stairs. You need need me. <laughs> Gordon, we've got to get out of here. Yeah, we're Maybe several we thousand feet up, so let's not sell a... Is it really that time, Dr. Freeman? Oh, what's that? Is it is really he? that time again? He isn't showing up it yet? It seems as if you oh, only is. just arrived. Why is he over there? You've done a great deal in a small time span. Should he have not walked out of the explosion? You've done so well, in fact, that I've received some interesting offers for your services. Yeah, he's supposed to pick Ordinary dust off of Alex. Oh, there we go. Them, Weird. These are extraordinary times. Hmm? I don't think I was supposed <laughs> to move. That's Rather why. than offer you the illusion of free choice, I will take the liberty of choosing for you. If and when your time comes round again. Yeah, G-Man's definitely taller than me. I do apologize for what must seem to you an arbitrary imposition, Only by Dr. About an Freeman. Inch or two. I trust it will all make sense to you in the course of... Well... well. I'm really, I'm really not, not at, liberty at liberty to say. say. <gasps> the bikini and the briefcase. In the meantime, can't see. This is where I get off. What the fuck? This is not my beautiful house. Dance party now. Yeah, pretty good. I have to roll the credits, because without all these people, I wouldn't have had, you know, a blast of 15. I got it. Let's... Mid-2000s, kind of like... trancey, almost drum and bass. I mean, it's got that... It's got the beat, the rhythm, but it's kind of, you know, more like low energy trance. Not, I don't know, you know, it's no, I would say the, the, the best Half-Life main line game ending theme music is definitely Half-Life Alex. It completely transported me to a different time when games had that kind of music, but it was like it was produced so well, and the way they kind of sprung it on you right after, you know, the the, the ending. Obviously, no spoilers, but the way it hits you, you know, it put it it Lamar? was. Lamar, blast that little. Where did she get to? I was supposed to be centered. 98 out of 10, 100, I'd give it. 98 out of 10. That's what I'll say. 98 out of 10. And the game just closed. No main menu, just a crash. 99 out of 100. There you go.